Nowadays, more often than not, my when I'm driving in my car, my radio is actually completely turned off. It's not set to one station and then I change it to another or I'm not waiting on plugging in an iPod or my phone or anything like that. It's just turned off. And that's because I really, really, really hate, can't stand, don't want anything to do with and do not want to support the m- m- the morning time radio show. And I often drive in the morning to take Chew to work. I just, I can't stand it. It's ignorant. It's disgusting. It's gross. It's just awful. And so I don't want to support it. Now, your average person would either change the channel, or if they're like me and only really listen to one channel, then they'd just turn the volume down. And that's what I did for a while. But then I realized, I, I, I thought about it, and I realized that this is what everyone does. This is how we respond when we don't like something. Instead of not watching it, instead of not listening to it, instead of not turning it on, we turn it on, express our dislike, and then, like, mute it, or something like that. We, uh, there are some people who will just leave the room when a TV show they don't like is on instead of changing the channel or just turning it off if there's nothing else they want to watch. If people don't want to, or if people don't like a certain YouTube content, instead of not watching it, they hit the dislike button and that's about it. That doesn't work. Like, that doesn't work. It, it, any metric for success, you see a cat walking around in the background. That's now in my videos. That makes me happy. What are you doing, bud? Checking out my air purifier. Anyway, any metric that measures success of content in general is based on how many people are tuning in. This is especially relevant for the term given we're talking about radio. People are tuning in. So if I leave my radio on while that while that morning show is on and I just turn the volume down to their way of measuring how many people are listening to the show, I'm a listener. I'm someone who's listening to the show and therefore contributing to the show's success by being one of the probably thousands of people that are tuning into it each morning. If you're one of the people who watches a YouTube video just to dislike it, you're one of the people making that content succeed. Hitting the dislike button is nothing but a blip. It's not, it's not even a fraction of a blip on the radar of the other metrics that are used when determining a content's success rate. And frankly, if anything, you're contributing more to it because you're engaging with the video. Video that get Videos that get people to engage with it, be, be it positive or negatively, do better because they're, they're, they're eliciting a response from you. So if you don't like videos someone's making or you don't like, I don't know, anything, like, just don't watch it. You can leave your nasty comments, but all that's going to get you is muted or marked as spam, which is going to affect your ability to comment elsewhere. And your dislike and view is only contributing to content success. And so that's why most of the time when I drive in the car, my radio's off because if that morning show is on, I don't want to contribute to its success. If a content creator I watch uploads content that I'm not going to like, or that I don't want to see, or that I don't support, I don't watch it. I don't contribute to its success. I don't give it ad revenue money or YouTube red money. I just don't watch it. He's sniffing the sandbag. But I suggest you all do the same. 